Welcome back to the channel. And if you're a new visitor to the channel, I hope you enjoy the content and consider joining our rapidly growing community. So today we'll be looking at the Home Assistant Green, the new hardware offering from the amazing guys who built and continue to develop Home Assistant. We'll be covering a lot of content today. So check the description to jump to the specific chapters that are relevant to you. So let's dive in. If you're watching this video, then you're probably looking to get into smart home automation and I've heard about Home Assistant or you're just interested in what the new Home Assistant Green is. So for the newbies, a quick recap on what Home Assistant is. Home Assistant is a powerful smart home automation platform. It allows you to control your devices with just one app. You can create complex automations and advanced dashboards. It's open source project and it's gained popularity among smart home enthusiasts. And probably the most relevant part of the video is that it runs on many different platforms from home assistant specific hardware, such as the green, we'll be going into that later, across Raspberry Pis, Windows, Mac, Linux. It's truly an open platform. So where did home assistant come from? Home Assistant was created by Paulus Schauston in 2013. Apologies, Paulus, for the pronunciation. It started as a personal project to automate his home. Over time, it grew into a community-driven platform with a dedicated user base. So when did it start and when did it become widespread to the community? In 2016, Home Assistant became an official open source project. It gained support from various different smart home devices and platforms. Its community contributed to its development, adding new features and integrations. Home Assistant currently has 258,000 active installations as at 2023, according to the Home Assistant Analytics. Link in the description below. So when did Home Assistant start developing its own hardware? Well, in 2022, Home Assistant introduced the Home Assistant Blue based on the Odroid CPU. They followed this up with Home Assistant Yellow in 2022 based on the Raspberry Pi Compute module. This year, Home Assistant introduced the Home Assistant Green. This does not rely on a commercial core from an SOC manufacturer and instead uses a Rockchick RK3566 quad core ARM Cortex processor. So Home Assistant is very flexible on the hardware that it can be installed onto. If you check out the installation page, you can get a sense of the vast array of different hardware that can be installed onto. This video will be focusing on the Home Assistant hardware developer variants only. The Home Assistant Blue was a smart home automation system that served as a flagship version for the Home Assistant installations and was introduced in December 2020. It featured a blue case with the Home Assistant logo and was based on the Odroid N2 Plus device. Home Assistant Blue offered enhanced performance and came with pre-installed with all the necessary components. The key features of the Home Assistant Blue were it had a powerful hardware, it was equipped with a high performance processor, ample memory and storage. It was extensively compatible, supporting various home devices and platforms, making it versatile for home automation processes. Users could customize the Home Assistant Blue setup according to their specific needs and preferences. It was discontinued and its successor was the Home Assistant Yellow. Although the Home Assistant Blue is no longer available, it played a significant role in the evolution of Home Assistant. It was the first Home Assistant hardware and set the stage for the future. Next came the Home Assistant Yellow. Home Assistant Yellow is a flagship version of the Home Assistant that serves as a smart home automation that was introduced in May 2022 and is still available today. One option comes pre-assembled in a custom enclosure with a Raspberry Pi 4 compute module and a heat sink for fanless and silent operation. Home Assistant Yellow is a matter ready, upgradable and expandable. It offers a fast compute module 4 and an expandable M.2 slot for additional storage and comes with Zigbee out of the box. Its key features are, it's equipped with a high performance processor, ample memory and storage. It supports various home devices and platforms and makes it versatile to automate processes. 
Users can customize their Home Assistant Yellow according to their specific needs and preferences. Home Assistant Yellow is still available for purchase and there'll be links in the description below. There are three different variants available. The Home Assistant Yellow Basic Flagship, which comes pre-assembled with power and everything you need to get going out of the box. The Home Assistant Yellow Kit with power over Ethernet, which does require some assembly, but as the name suggests, it can be powered over an Ethernet connection and doesn't require a power brick. And finally, the Home Assistant Yellow Kit with power supply. This does require some assembly and doesn't come with the Raspberry Pi compute module attached, so you'll need to purchase that separately if you require to go with this variant. So what does the Home Assistant Yellow that the Blue doesn't give us? Well, for a start, it's 15 to $20 cheaper. It comes with an upgradable storage and memory. The yellow model allows you to upgrade the Compute Module 4 to a variant with up to 32 gigabytes of eMMC flash storage. This provides more flexible in terms of storage capacity. It also comes with an additional storage option. The yellow has an M.2 slot for installing an MVME solid state disk drive for additional storage. This can be beneficial if you need more storage for your home automation data. It also has a dedicated thread border router. This can be beneficial if you have a thread enabled devices in your smart home. The Home Assistant Yellow is still sold and can be purchased for between 124 and 135 USD. Links in the description below. So now we come to the main event, the Home Assistant Green. The Home Assistant Green is an entry-level smart home hub that runs on a powerful 1.8 GHz quad-core CPU with 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB of eMMC storage. It's designed to be an easy-to-use, privacy-focused solution for automating your house. Home Assistant Green offers an affordable solution for managing the smart home devices with plug-and-play design at a very modest price of 99 USD. Some of the key features are it has a powerful hardware equipped with high performance processors and ample memory and storage. Extensive compatibility, it supports various smart home devices and platforms and makes it versatile for automation purposes. Home Assistant Green is available for purchase at the Home Assistant website, links in the description below. So, the Home Assistant Green over the Home Assistant Yellow. What are the advantages and disadvantages? Well, firstly, the cost. Home Assistant Green comes in at 99 USD compared to the yellow, which is between 124 and 135 USD. The processor is based on the Rockchip RK3566 quad core, uh, 1.8 gigahertz, and a newer, more efficient processing compared to the Raspberry Pi compute module that is installed into the Home Assistant yellow. So let's look at the, some of the negatives of the green over the yellow. Less memory options, Green only comes with four gig, and the yellow comes with expandability up to eight gig. If you need more memory than the Home Assistant tasks, the yellow might be the better choice. There's no M.2 slot, so you can't do additional storage via an MVME solid state SSD drive inside of it. So the green does not support running of thread and a Zigbee network with a multiple protocol firmware options, and no dedicated border router option. You can't use the green as a dedicated thread border router with the thread firmware options. So of these three models, which is the best for you? Well, the blue is out as it's no longer available, although you still can pick this up on the second home market at a reasonable price. But if you're a new buyer, then it's out. So if you want the easiest setup and are not technical, then it's an obviously the home assistant green. It's the cheapest, it's true plug and play. However, I think the vast majority of people will grow out of the green very quickly and wish they had bought the yellow. The addition of the M.2 slot for that additional storage and that you can power the yellow over ethernet as opposed to a power brick will bring some significant advantages. So we can end the video there and say those of you that are new to Home Assistant should buy the green and then upgrade to the yellow once you need the additional storage and customizations. However, all of these options are still based on a single board low power computer and as such they have limited performance. For me the best option is still a mini computer such as the HP Mini G4 that I run offering significantly more CPU performance and the ability to run this as a home lab server while running home assistant virtually or in a docker providing the ultimate inflexibility.
Links in the description if you want to pick one of these up from Amazon. Alternatively, you can pick one of these up on a local marketplace for a fraction of the cost. Even a 4750T CPU based HP Mini G3 would offer significantly more processing power than any of the Home Assistant pre-configured options. However, the downside of this is that you need to have more technical ability to get up and running. Watch out for the video coming shortly for setting up Home Assistant on one of these very affordable alternatives. So ultimately, the choice is yours. I hope you enjoyed this brief video on Home Assistant Green, Yellow, Blue, and the other alternatives. If you'd like to see similar content to this, then please consider subscribing and joining our community on our smart home journey. See you on the next one.